In June 2023, Rhiannon and my sister and I travelled to Thailand. We started in Bangkok and then got the night train down to Suratani and then to Koh Samui. We then moved to Koh Panyang, I went to Khao Sok National Park and finally we ended up in Khao La. We ate some beautiful food, met some lovely dogs and saw some incredible views. I really hope you enjoy our adventures there. We are in Bangkok Station, there's not actually Bangkok Station, it's called something else station which I'll insert on the screen in case you're getting an overnight train. Anyway, <laughs> we're getting the overnight train, I'm very excited, from Bangkok to Suratani to then go over to Koh Samui. I have a pad thai that was 60 baht which is like £1.50 and an aggressively green <laughs> apple soda that tastes like an apple bubble So to get the night train so far, we're not on it yet obviously, but we used the website one to go asia to book the tickets and then we've had the tickets emailed through and they've said we don't have to go and collect them in person to get like paper tickets so hopefully we won't have to but i've got my blanket attached to my bag because last time i got a night train in we had sipping her milk tea last time i got we can see that oh you can see the screen ahead. last time i got a night train in thailand it was really cold so we're going to enjoy this pad time get some water for the train as well because we got a night bus once in south america and ran out of water and just felt horrendous and we are going to take you on our trip with us i'm so excited are you excited <laughs> we're getting ready to board Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights We're on, oh, this, right, this is not burn, this is from like <laughs> Oh, that looks really bad, my bag's from like on my back and on my front going on We're in our little cabin, it's so cute, I'm gonna give you <laughs> So we didn't have to print the tickets off, we just um, had to show it on our phone. And the fellas were so lovely, like they were helping us when we, like they were just concerned we were going the wrong way, which is fair. And they were double checking our tickets to make sure we were getting on the right one. And then we were escorted to our cabin. So this is first class, because we fancy. But the second class looked fine, but we just, we fancy. <laughs> so this is our little bedroom for the night. So we've got a top bunk, bottom bunk. And then this is like an adjoining one to someone else, so we won't go in there. Hooks for hanging things up. And then we've got a sink with a mirror. We've got a window, a table, and we've got, have, you got, have I got a lamp? I'm not sure, Rhiannon has a lamp up there. And we've also got a socket up there. And a Rhiannon. And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know. We were just settling into our little room and there was a knock on the door and then this like a nicest fella appears with like a, a board for dinner and he was like oh we have dinner like because we're in first class we can't see um we've brought our own food and we ate at the station so and he was like i bring you alcohol so we have a chang beer <laughs> and i think he's bringing breakfast here tomorrow morning so good vibes we've set off it's really <laughs> It's really dark outside, obviously, because it's night time. But yeah, we're just going to get set up. I'm going to repack my bag because I packed it really badly earlier on. And then we'll see We'll see what we're up to. Even if the sky is falling down. I've successfully managed to get everything in my backpack now, which is excellent. So I'm going to go on a bit of an adventure to see what the toilets are like. It's fine. It's just like a normal toilet. They're loud in here. There was the option of a squat toilet and a picture of a shower, but I was like, I can't do squat toilet on the train. Danger with the wall thing. But yeah, normal looking toilet. Okay, what you got, pal? What's your snack haul? Okay, so. Uh-huh. The bang bang, which is the closest English things like a lion bar. Mm -hmm. uh, a break super, which is basically a Twix. Uh, these, which are like Maltesers by the looks of it. Mm -hmm. And then biscuits. I've got mini chocolate chip cookies. Uh, 
these are chocolate chip and hazelnut cookies. And then these are chocolate biscuits. Then sweets. We got cola bottles. Uh, strawberry bears. Ooh. Oh, like the mango ones? Yeah. They're good. Uh, Mentos, mm. always handy. And more gummy bears. And then salty snacks. I got salted raw beans. Ooh. Pops. Really good. Uh, roasted almonds. Like exceptional. Really good. And then some noodles if needed. So this is the whole haul. Just a happy little bear. <laughs> okay, current setup. You can't really see because it's dark. You're <laughs> there. Uh, we're on my bunk and we're watching Manifest. Somehow managed to not get any spoiler alerts about this. So got our snacko has got manifest and that's what we're we're gonna do now transfer from Suratani to the ferry and then the ferry to Naton on Koh Samui and then our accommodation should just be a seven minute walk from there so this is happy days so so far it's gone very smoothly which we absolutely love so it's not even nine o'clock now and the night train got in at like quarter to nine so we should be at the ferry terminal by half past ten and then they said the ferry is at eleven so happy days I hope you have enjoyed the vlog of the night train. So this was Bangkok to Soratani night train and it went on somewhere else afterwards as well. We went first class because we fancy, but it was fantastic because it was just nice to have our own area. It was like £38 each, I think, which is obviously, you know, transport and accommodation. So not awful. But next stop, we're going to Koh Samui. 